peace family so i'm back with another one you know what i'm saying so today what i wanted to do is i wanted to talk to my chosen ones about you will have to pass the motherfucking test you gotta pass the test you have to pass the test and today y'all probably not really gonna be able to see me that well i know i'm a little chocolatey but the lighting and the setting is fucking beautiful out here today so i'm still gonna give it to y'all anyways you know what i'm saying but what brought me to this subject today was right is that i uh i'm constantly always being aware of what's being thrown at me and testis and obstacles and all these different things right but sometimes when you out moving around in this matrix the universe and the creator, when you're trying to ascend, will motherfucking double test you and triple test you back to back right away. Kind of like when we used to be in indoctrination schools and we had SOL test day. You know what I'm saying? All fucking day, every period you go to, every class you go to, you got a motherfucking test you got to do. That's the same thing the universe do to us on certain days. It's not on the same day and, and what brought me to this was right is that i was out filming and I, I was headed to first let me start with just i had a lot of uh energy i had to uh, transmute last night but i ended up crashing early way earlier than i normally do when i laid my daughter down so i ended up waking up at like 2 a.m but it was like I couldn't go back to sleep, but I didn't really want to stay awake, so I was kind of just tossing and turning for like the next four fucking hours. You know what I'm saying? So, but my energy was fine. I had already transmuted. Everything was Gucci. Get up, start the day, and get my mini up, get her together, everything. Get her out to indoctrination school. She like, she don't feel good. So, last time we did that, the school, they wanted to, uh, they wanted her to get tested for it. <sighs> the shit you know what i'm saying so i didn't even wanted to get her fucking tested but i got a fucking witchy witch that's her mama on the other side right so we go through the whole process she doesn't have it i already know she's connected to me and the goddamn creator we already know we gucci over here right so we get to the school today she like uh she not feeling good so i'm asking her before we go in there we right in front of the school and i already got out the car and I'm just thinking to myself, like, are you sure you want to go through this process? You, you going to the school, these people better not be calling us. You better not be complaining or telling them nothing because they're going to say probably shots and we're not doing none of that. So you have to let me know right now how you're feeling. She tell me how she feeling. She don't want to go to school. So I'm like, all right, bet we're not going to go to school. You going to vibe with daddy when I go out today to get this work done. She like, all right. So we get out to my spot to go film and everything. It took me about 15 minutes to get myself together, get her together, I set her up nice. She wanted to draw and look out at the water and blah, blah, and stuff like that, right? So I'm walking over to my spot to where I'm going to film, man. And it's been another couple that was all the way on the other side of the water fishing. But they waited until I started walking through. As soon as I start walking through to come over here to my spot to where I'm at, they're walking behind me. I blocked the whole dock so they couldn't get on this motherfucker. So that way they knew that I was about to film. If you didn't see my camera on my shoulder or you didn't know what the fuck it was, I'm going to set it up right here in front of you. They kept walking right past me, right? They set up right beside me. Not on the dock, but on the edge of the water. But they got a little kid with them. So now the kid is loud. You know what I'm saying? And there's nobody else out here but us. So I'm just thinking to myself, like, why the fuck would they do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is an old ass white white couple out here it's it's a this a witchy town i'm in fucking virginia you know what i'm saying this is like where they implanted all their witchy shit at you know what i'm saying so a lot of people in being still got that old witchy concept that they just entitled and they can do what the fuck they want to do yes you can think that but this energy here is gonna let you motherfucking know that ain't how this shit fly over here so and, and when this was happening right i just kept thinking to myself this gotta be a test this has to be a test Cause it didn't make no sense for them to be walking behind me they like 60 70 years old you got you should have common sense god damn it oh i see them with a camera let me go the other way and not interrupt them like when i was in new york city you see people with cameras all day you get the fuck out their way because you know damn well you about to be in it or on it 
if you're in the path or in the way. You know what I'm saying? But they just set up beside me being loud and shit. I make a phone call to kind of get my energy together. They kind of hear my little phone conversation and shit a little bit. So then they decided to scurry on about their business. After standing over here, when I moved off the dock, they came on the dock and stood over here for like 10 minutes and then they left. And I just kept thinking to myself, damn, this have to be a test because I have been waiting and, and fixing my energy. I had finally got everything organized. I got my daughter situated and settled. And it was like, bet, we about to film. I'm about to get this knowledge out here. And then now I got this whole other situation that's kind of fucking with my energy in the inside. And I kept thinking to myself, I done had this shit happen to me about the past two, three times. I done tried to film outside of the last one where y'all saw the motherfucker just hanging out in the background. Um, but I just kept thinking to myself, yo, why? what is the universe that's just trying to fucking twist my energy up or something from the inside and it's like look what I'm doing why would the oppositions not be trying to cause some chaos or confusion within me you know what I'm saying and if it couldn't hit me with my daughter not going to school it's going to try with these witchy motherfuckers just gonna stand and set up right beside me to decide to do their fishing thing with the little loud ass kid with them which is fine you got your kid with you that's not the problem but you know your kid is gonna they come with a certain volume. They come with a certain frequency. So that frequency is going to end up fair with my frequency. You know what I'm saying? After these tests, it was like a, another car just pulled up literally. It's a whole parking lot empty right beside me. It, it, it was literally on my passenger door. It was so close that my daughter just sitting there staring at it. So I'm just thinking to myself, what the fuck is this? So I'm like, this is still me trying to get in the process of filming. I'm like, damn, I'm being tested. So I go over there, I move my car over three or four slots. Don't even say nothing to the person. I just get up and fucking move it. I'm like, this is too close to me. I'm not standing beside my car, but I just don't want them parked right on it where I cannot see the passenger door or the trunk, blah, blah, blah. I just didn't want them sitting on top of me like that with all this space. So then my daughter, she like, she got used the bathroom on top of her saying in the bathroom. I realized the guy who squeezed beside me was handicapped and my energy was already like I'm, I was already like circling it back around and fixing it because I'm pretty good at breathing and woosawing that energy off me you know what I'm saying it's been plenty of times where I was young I seen somebody we had beef we fought and then I left and we went back on about our business and continued our day so I'm used to diving in that kind of energy and pulling back out right away but I realized the test right I only knew the dude was handicapped at first because as I'm helping my daughter to the bathroom, I could see him pulling his tires over and like building the wheelchair through the passenger window. And I'm just thinking to myself, damn, my energy was almost frustrated with him as well too. Not him spiritually, but the vessel in general just for pulling up on top of me after I just had the other situation. And then as I'm seeing him build it, I walk over to the other side and I... I ask him in the politest way as I possibly can if he needed any help, you know what I'm saying? Because I see him building the wheelchair. He was driving, but he, now he's building the wheelchair. So, from there, it was like, when I saw that, it was like, man, the universe was just, it, it just slapped me with a rack of tests right away. It slapped me with a rack of tests right away. If you're going to be growing and ascending, you have to be able to transmute and transfer your energy as it's happening. You're not always going to be able to go home and disappear and go over there and fix your motherfucking energy. Especially when you ascending. You don't get to these newer levels without passing these tests. And the way the motherfuckers was hitting just now, it just reminded me that you cannot get to this next frequency up here without these tests. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you move from soldier to general to captain to lieutenant however the orders go i think it's lieutenant then captain but you don't get the next information until you move up or until you're training for that position so you could be a soldier wanting to be a captain but you don't start learning the shit about the captain until you pass the rest of the test for the, the fucking regular general and the, the sergeant and the lieutenant you have to still go through these other procedures first these other tests you still have to go through first and 
I wasn't reminded like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Because I really wanted to give the motherfucking first people the smoke. That's why they got their ass up and left. Like, I was really sending them that energy. Like, yo, y'all just really walked over here and followed me. Like, just just out of y'all own entitlement. Just like, all right, I'm just going to come stand up on him with my loud ass kid. Even though I'm quiet and my wife is quiet. And I'm not going to say anything to him or ask him what he's doing, what he got going on. If we, Are we interrupting? Because we literally just left our space to come into your space. And then I got hit with another one. The dude was handicapped. And it was like, nigga, catch your energy, fix your shit, and get it together. You already know what we out here doing. That's why I asked him right away if he needed any help. You know what I'm saying? My spirit is naturally giving and helping like this. I was just molded in, in like from my upbringing to this fucking raw ass warrior on the outside even though i've been this way on the inside you know what i'm saying it just has a purpose now before it was blindly so the opposition was trying to get me over on their team and it makes sense if they could get a warrior a creator a being like me over on their team it would be magnificent but i would never do that because i love the team that i'm with this is who i've been with my whole entire life like i wouldn't be able to shine or smile the way i do through half of the shit that I go through if it wasn't this way, you know what I'm saying? So, sometimes the test will be back to back. Sometimes it will be just to see how quick you can transfer and transmute your energy, you know what I'm saying? The first situation didn't have nothing to do with the second situation, but if I wasn't aware, I would have combined them bitches together, you know what I'm saying? But I took them as two individual separate situations. This one didn't have nothing to do with this one. You know what I'm saying? Even though, like, I'm saying it didn't have nothing to do with it, meaning, like, on a negative frequency or a lower vibration or, like, the witchy side. You know what I'm saying? So, it was just, it was it was a counter. That's how I had to look at that as, like, these witchy motherfuckers hit right here. And then the creator sent something to see, are you really down over there in that energy? Or is you just sending that to them? Or are you you really fucking with me you know what i'm saying and when i had asked him if he needed any help i could feel all that other energy come off me and then i did kind of feel a little guilty in the process for not getting that energy off me faster that's what i felt guilty for for not getting it off me faster you know what i'm saying but i just wanted to drop something up here for y'all we constantly being tested we constantly being tested you know what i'm saying and you always not gonna have time to go running home in the cubby up to be able to process and transmute your energy from situation to situation. Them shit's gonna be happening bing to bing, back to back, so fast, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't wanna run it up too long. Y'all tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.